Hello, I'm back, and uh, I'm back uh, kind of because uh, I don't get enough punishment. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to uh, uh, explain to you in 15 minutes or less what the Rascola Wagner model is all about. <laughs> and now, uh, the reason I, I said that I'm, I'm back with sort of self-abuse, this is a pretty hard thing to do in such a short period of time. So wish me luck. Ordinarily, I take a good hour to, to, to explain to students what this is all about. But today, we're going to try to do it in uh, warp speed here. Well, I'm not going to talk any faster because my brain doesn't work any faster. But anyway, uh, Let's give this a go. Now, um, the Rascola Wagner model is basically a learning model. It's a it's a mathematical model for how learning proceeds. Okay, and uh, increasingly, it's been characterized as an error correction model. Okay, so uh, uh, what does that mean? Error correction. Where do we need to correct mistakes? Well, you've all heard about uh, self-driving cars, and there's a lot of uh, interest and uh, excitement about the possibility that cars can be programmed so that you don't need a driver to drive the car. Uh, this sort of thing, of course, is uh, uh, also present in any kind of robotics work where you ha uh, have uh, robots doing things. And you want these robots to do things correctly. You don't want them to make a mistake. So uh, imagine that this is a roadway. <laughs> here is my roadway. And here is my self-driving car. <laughs> I brought some pops along. And what you want the car to do is to drive along the highway, right? And if it stays on the highway, everything is cool. Uh, when do problems occur? Well, problems occur when the car goes off the road. <laughs> okay, that's an error, right? That's an error. And the program has to be written, uh, the car's computer software has to be writ written in such a way that it's going to correct that mistake and get the car back to uh, uh, where it's supposed to be. Uh, what are the calculations that you need to worry about in uh, uh, making that error correction? The next slide basically shows you the mathematics of this. <laughs> so you've got the roadway, which is the uh, solid uh, uh, black line going up the page. Uh, and uh, that's the correct place to be. And that's rep that path is represented by the symbol lambda. The car is the dot, uh, the dashed line, which veers off the path and ends up at position V. And what is, so what is the, the error? Well, how much of a correction you make depends on the size of that error. And that size of the error can be mathematically calculated as delta V uh, being equal basically to uh, lambda minus v, that is the lambda, the desired position, minus the current position of the car. And uh, the current position of the car is the net result of all the things that make the car go off the road. So it's a, it's a result of uh, the uh, tilt of the road, uh, uh, maybe problems with the tires, uh, uh, maybe problems with the steering. There are all kinds of variables that get, could get the car to drift off its path. It doesn't matter what the source of the drift is. We add up all those uh, influences, and uh, we're concerned mainly about where the car ended up, the point V. Well, this is basically the Rascola-Wagner equation. So the Rascola-Wagner equation, the Rascola-Wagner model, is built into a lot of robotics. How this is, relates to learning is illustrated in the next slide. So uh, here, uh, what we're looking at is the associative value or the strength of a conditioned response and uh, across trials. So initially, the conditioned response is at a low level, and then gradually the subject uh, learn, performs better and better 
until it gets to up to the asymptote. So what is uh, what what are you trying to do in a learning task? Well, you're trying to make a correct prediction and what you're pr trying to predict is when the unconditioned stimulus or reinforcer will occur. If you, uh, what's the error in prediction? The error in prediction is if you don't accurately predict it. So uh, if, if you're perfectly accurate, you're performing at asymptote. And so asymptotic performance is designated by the symbol lambda. Uh, your performance on any given trial is represented by V and the amount of error is lambda minus V. So the, um, the prediction error is huge early in training. Uh, lambda minus, minus V is, is fairly large. Uh, late in, in acquisition, and certainly at asymptote, you know, lambda minus V becomes uh, close to zero. So delta V is the error in prediction. Uh, lambda is the accurate prediction of the US, and uh, V is the current level of performance based on all the cues in the situation. So how does this allow us to understand learning phenomena? Well, uh, one uh, uh, major learning phenomenon that the Rascola Wagner model is, uh, is very uh, well suited to uh, account for is the blocking effect, which is illustrated in the next slide. Every major theory of learning that uh, uh, claims any sort of success has to be able to explain the blocking effect. So let me tell you how the Roscola Wagner model explains it. But first, let's uh, talk about what the effect is in the first place. So this this uh, phenomenon involves uh, an experiment that in, involves two different phases of training, and in uh, there are two different groups of subjects uh, in this experiment. The top line illustrates what happens to one group, and the second line illustrates what happens to the to a control group. So uh, what happens to the uh, experimental group on the top line? In phase one, they get stimulus A paired with the unconditioned stimulus, uh, let's say a tone paired with food. And that training uh, proceeds uh, long enough uh, so that uh, the, the tone becomes uh, a perfect predictor of the food and the subject responds at asymptotic levels to the tone. Then uh, we continue training uh, with the tone followed by food, but then we add a, add a second stimulus, B, which may be a light. So now the food is preceded by two cues, A and B. And the question, and we, we do a number of conditioning trials of this sort. And the question is, uh, what is the subject going to learn about stimulus B? So the Roscoe Wagner model invites us to consider. Uh, what kind of error is to be corrected? Because according to the Roscoe Wagner model, learning is driven by, is motivated by error correction. It's only if you're uh, making a mistake in predicting the U.S. that you are making an error, and it's only under those circumstances that there's motivation to produce more learning. Is there an error to be corrected? in phase two for the first group when uh, stimulus B is introduced. Well, when stimulus B is introduced, A already completely predicts the U.S., so there's no prediction error. If there's no prediction error, there's no motivation to learn anything, and as a consequence, the subject does not learn anything, if uh, very much, in, uh, if anything at all, to stimulus B, you test stimulus B and you get very little responding. Now you might argue, well, you don't get much responding to stimulus B because stimulus A was there. Maybe that kind of distracted the subject from, from stimulus B. And that's what the control group is there for. For the control group, uh, there is no phase one training. So when phase two training starts, it's identical to the A, B, training that the first group receives, but now is there an error prediction? Well, there, should, there is a huge prediction error because neither stimulus A nor stimulus B at the beginning of phase two predict that food's going to occur. So there's a big error and the error has to be corrected and it's corrected by uh, making both stimulus A and stimulus B 
predictors of food. So under these circumstances, B acquires substantial associative value. So the res condition response to B during the test trial is going to be much bigger than it was for the first group or the blocking group. So what this illustrates is that the presence of a pre-trained stimulus is going to interfere with acquisition of a new stimulus element. And the Rascola Wagner model explains this um, beautifully. Uh, the Rascola Wagner model has been tremendously influential. It has uh, uh, generated all kinds of interesting uh, uh, predictions. Uh, uh, all kinds of unusual learning effects were discovered because they were predicted by the Scarlet Wagner model and that would not have been uh, examined without it. And so, and as I said, this concept that learning is a function of cor uh, uh, error correction. That is, we learn when we make mistakes and when we have to correct those mistakes. And so error correct, correction as a mechanism of learning remains tremendously important. Now, having said all, all of that, I should also tell you in uh, conclusion that uh, as successful as the Rascola Wagner model has been, it hasn't succeeded in all domains <laughs> of conditioning and learning. Uh, it in particular has some difficulties with conditioned inhibition. And there are some issues about how the Rascola Wagner model handles uh, extinction phenomena and, uh, and a number of other phenomena. So the Rascola Wagner model is not the last word on what produces learning, but it has served to identify a crucial variable, namely, prediction error as a motivating variable for learning. And uh, that has been very important. And that concept continues to be very important in how we think about learning phenomena. So that's my story for today. I hope I've met my time limit. <laughs> hope some of this made sense to you. And uh, you'll have to read more about it to get a full appreciation of the model. Thanks very much.